And here we go to the Colosseum to take on the boss of this area. Let's see what he is. This is an interesting fight. Uh, not a particularly difficult one. I have my stamina potions, by the way. Let's get rid of our auto repair powder and replace it with these. They're not entirely necessary, but they'll make this fight go by quicker. And I probably will have excess, so fun. And here we go, into the arena. You would think an attend- like, um, an attendance- or an admission ticket- I'm trying to find the name here- uh, an admission ticket would let you in as a spectator, not as a contestant. So, he opens the door for us, and we're free to go in as soon as we want. I mean, it's not like giving him the item automatically throws us into the battle. And we go in with, uh, Toen and Osmond. Uh, unlike the last boss, you don't need to use Osmond in this fight. Just like you don't need to use Goro in, in the fight against Master Uten, you don't need to use, uh... Well, you... Yeah, you, or you do need to use Goro in the fight with Master Uten, you do need to use Ruby in the fight with, uh... The Saya, but in this one you don't have to fight as, uh, Osmond. So... It's a nice change of pace, you're not forced into using a single character. But, here is our boss. He is, I cannot remember his name, but we will see it in a second. He is the arena champion, has gone undefeated until this point. And whoever can defeat him will get the item we need. And that is going to be us. I believe this is uh, the Minotaur. If I remember correctly. I'm not sure, though. We'll see. Though they probably already said it in this dialogue that I'm not reading. And so begins the best music in the game. Now! Osmond walks away and leaves us to fight him. Yep, the Minotaur. Minotaur Joe, to be specific. This guy can be a bit of a bastard, if you don't know how to fight him. See, he grabs these barrels, and he'll pick one up, and we come, and we stab him. That's really all you have to do. And we're getting some wicked slowdown. Oh, fuck, Nuggets. He's got us. Yeah, if he's hit, he'll give himself stamina, and... Ah, fuck! <laughs> he hurts. He'll take you down to next to no health. So... Gah! So we've wasted a stamina potion. There. So, yeah, he'll attack for a little bit. He'll go to grab a, a canister. Actually, let's not put those in our active slot because he does have that drinking animation. We don't want uh, Minotaur Joe to go and grab one while we're busy chugging one down. So. And it's also best not to be locked on. Whoa, hello. And he does fuck all if, he has, if uh, you have stamina and he doesn't. So yeah, we're doing a ton of damage to this guy. Just hit him every time he starts drinking. Anyway, enjoy the music.
So yeah, this fight is really easy if you don't let him get to the uh, barrels, which are full of stamina drink. I want one of those. So, our winner is Toen. So, this no-name dude from a village, probably, I guess, about 15 years old, has beaten the undefeated Minotaur massive giant thing amid something. I don't fucking know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But anyway, no-name villager with what looks like a tree for a sword has uh, beaten the Minotaur. This undefeated grand champion of the arena. That's disappointing. But anyway, we're done. All that's left is to put the thing in place. I didn't even bother to read the name, but we will soon see. And once we do that, we are ready for the mission. And also, when you go into the, when you start the mission, uh, it, it's a long stretch of cutscenes that will take you straight into the next dungeon. You really have no choice but to go into it. Anyway, we have our item here. This is called the Sun Sphere. I wasn't far off when I said Sunstone. And it is completified. And uh, the pieces aren't coming together. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Uh, what are we doing wrong here? This is... Oh, wow, oh, fuck, I see what I've done. This is the left. So we need to move this down here. Good thing we have that space. And... Boing. So there, they connect, and then connect these here. Doink! And we have 100%. Yay. The Sun Giant is completed. Minus... Let, let, let's just ignore my little screw-up, shall we? So now, we're given the mission briefing. Here's what's going to go down. We're going to be taking the Sun Giant to Dark Haven Castle. That is where the Dark Genie is holed up. I've mentioned that in previous parts, but that was a long, long time ago. These four dudes, plus Osmond, will be our crew. They will occupy the arms and legs with Osmond at the head and Toen in a passenger seat somewhere. Also, massive slowdown. I do not know what's causing it. Though my computer is probably crying right now because I'm running a recorder and Dark Cloud and uh, it's not in the best shape right now. Anyway, he's basically going to tell everyone what I just told you. These guys are going to be the crew, and we're going to attack Darkhaven Castle. Um, sadly, we will not be fighting the giant uh, purple Shrek demon. Because that's all going to be in cutscene with uh, the genie. Or with the sun giant, my mistake. Uh, it's all going to be in cutscenes, so there's no real point in uh, worrying about fighting him. Uh, all the fighting is just going to be in the cinematic, and then we're going to go straight into the dungeon. So, uh... And there's no placing items, there's no uh, buildings, there's no robot. There is Giorama, but it'll all be done in the dungeon. You do not... Uh, or you really have nowhere to build the stuff outside. You can't go into the Georama menu. You have to do it all uh, as you collect it in the dungeon. The thing is, there's no break period. There's no new character. There's no, there's nothing. We can choose straight through to the, the 25th floor. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be a long haul. It's gonna be a lot of videos of going through this one dungeon nonstop. So get ready for that. But there's enough enemies, and the dungeon changes appearance as you progress. So it's not all bad. Anyway, when we are ready, all we need to do is go and talk to Osmond. And once we tell him we're ready to rock and roll, the whole thing begins. 
And we will do that in the next part. I'm coming back to check for items again. We will do that in the next part. I'm going to call it a part and get ready for class again. So sad. So when we return, we will be going to Dark Haven Castle, the final area in the game. It's near the end. The, the, the light at the end of this ma massively long tunnel is in sight. So I will see you all for that later.